Hi, here at Bedham TV, we often talk about AFTAL, A-F-T-A-L. You wonder, what is AFTAL? AFTAL is a very established, very respected autograph trade dealers association. But when you see that name, you know that that means that everything we bring you comes with the utmost top provenance. You'll get a certificate of authenticity, you get a lifetime guarantee, and you can buy safe in the knowledge that with that AFTAL name and the items we bring you, get the real thing. Hiya, welcome to a very special show. This is all sports collectibles. You may well have seen the boxing and the football. This one is dedicated to lots and lots of different sports. Now this lady, you may have seen her. She was known as Sky Sports number one walk-on, but we'll talk about that later. But um, I'm sure you've seen her. She's been on terrestrial TV. We'll go into that in a little bit about, I've seen you on with the Good Morning with Piers Morgan and yes. heard you with David Vine. And we'll go into all that in a minute. But basically I would describe Jade, who's, and I'm gonna try and pronounce her, her surname, but forgive me. I always say it's uh, Slusarchik, is that right? That's perfect. Is it? Oh, yeah. God. It's good That's you real, whack yeah. me if I was wrong, but you oh, know. Everyone gets it wrong, don't worry. <laughs> but Jay basically has had quite a, um, a blossoming media career. I'm not surprised. But no. um, she's doing presenting work. There's a lot of live events. Loads for charity. She's a fab girl in our paths across at charity events. And she does so much. But she works across the genre of all different sports. We'll yes. explain about that in a minute. We, we will. Yep. Now, here on Benham TV, when we bring you signed collectibles and we talk about signed, we guarantee that every item is 100% real. Basically what that means, the signed items comes with the backing of an Aftal uh, proof of provenance that it's real. These are not, if, they, if we get printed, they don't do printed. If you get anything that we tell you is personally signed means the various sports person has held it in their hand and actually signed it. We guarantee, get a certificate of authenticity and a lifetime guarantee. Yeah. I'll just give you the number and then we'll talk about maybe your rugby skills. I'm not sure about those. <laughs> this is 300 713. It's celebrating England's World Championship win in 2003 when me as an old uh, aging rugby player almost split the roof when in almost injury time approaching Johnny Wilkinson who signed this kicked that infamous drop goal and England became world champions it's a fabulous item it's actually personally signed by Johnny Wilkinson and it's an officially licensed and endorsed cover framed up ready to hang on your wall and again if you zoom in there we'll see in a minute Johnny Wilkinson's actual signature now I know you're involved in all sorts of sports but rugby um, as yet is not one that you've touched on too much is no it? but I'd like to get involved yeah Would of you, course yeah. Well, yeah. not, is that the, 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 the good it's a proper man's boys, sport or it's a yeah. man's sport yeah, yeah. No, yeah a lot of them are a lot better looking and fitter than I am don't worry so yeah. <laughs> you was a rugby player wasn't you it, yeah so, so I told them yeah. no I played <laughs> rugby for yeah. many years yeah but yeah it's um it, 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 rugby has come up tremendously, and obviously you're a rugby fan. You yeah. know this is a great item because it's celebrating a very significant period of English history. It's it's a great, item. and it is personally signed by Johnny Wilkins. I think it's a great, great price. Any rugby fan would just love that. And if we in a minute probably we'll go in there, we'll see the actual signature closer up of Johnny Wilkinson there, as you can see. That is actually signed by hand. I actually can tell you where that was signed, the day it was signed, and the old cliche, I was there. You know, was you there so when I was, was actually done. there when he signed it. Perfect. Johnny Wilkinson's a great ambassador for the sport. He does loads to promote it, you know. He's a lovely he guy as well, as isn't he? a Surrey he? boy, you know, so yeah. he worked his way up. So I've seen his career blossom and everything. So yeah, great item for any rugby fan. Tell us a little bit, I know we're gonna get more into some sports that you're involved in, but yeah. um, just touch at the moment on some of the sports because when we called you the Sky Sports Walk-On Girl, yes. um, I mean, obviously I know what that means, but just explain a little bit better for the viewers oh, who so, maybe don't recognise So basically, you. when you get the, the snooker shoes out, we've got the Moscone Cup, we have the darts, who all have the Walk-On Girls, so we walk and escort the players into the arena. Right. And it's everything is the whole package where it's so we interact with the fans. Yeah, we sort of. <laughs> She's got a mean yeah. right hand, I tell you. Yeah. Oh, I have. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, it's um, it's everything as a whole thing. It's been going for seven years now with the snooker shootout. The Moscone Cup's a few years, and 
yeah, the darts, obviously, but at the minute it's sort of been a bit well, this all is up in the media at the minute. Yeah, and this has been why recently you've become almost one of the um, selected spokes ladies, if you like, yeah. for some of the uh, controversy that's occurred or the changes that have been made because yeah. of other events that have took place elsewhere. Yeah, but, of course. Yeah, of which course. must be quite disheartening, I guess. Yeah, it's, um, I, see, I think everyone's categorising it in the wrong scenario and the wrong thing. Everyone's trying to say we're getting harassed at work, we're being objectified. It's nothing like that at all. All those girls choose to do it because we're all very independent, strong, intelligent women who mm. do this as a choice. We're not forced. No. We're not made to wear anything we're not comfortable with. And so everyone's everyone's forgetting all the fun aspect of it, and it's it's all the fun thing that comes with it. It's yeah. how we interact with the fans, the players. It's everything yeah. as a whole package. And if they if these people actually come to our events, they'd see more of that. Yeah, sure. Well, well, obviously we'll touch yeah. upon that. But moving on, certainly if you love your rugby, this has got to be one for you. It's 300 713. And just again, to explain what that is, those actual stamps, they're actual uh, on, on the, the larger image, as I'm looking at above the signature, that's actually what they call a stamp sheet lit. In other words, like a photographic image yeah. celebrating the England team with the Rugby World Cup when they won it back in 2003. And the image where they're all jumping for joy is when Johnny, can you can imagine like the final yeah, frame yeah, in Stuttgart, yeah. he's just hit the winning the shot. The atmosphere you know? in that arena must have been amazing. Yeah, at and time. Were, you know, the, it was amazing, yeah. the passion. You know, the rugby clubs of England were drunk dry and the pubs, you know, because <laughs> it was like, oh, we ran wow, out for the you know. And yeah. Johnny Wilkinson, to achieve it, it, you couldn't have picked someone. He was like, everybody, if, if he was with your daughter or you're married, he would be the perfect ambassador. He's a real gentleman, yeah. a lovely guy, very gentle, does loads for the sport, and he's a hero. Yeah, of course. And always will be a hero. Of course. And that is personally signed by him. And, and if you come from my background, maybe you play rugby or something, or a school or a home, or your son or daughter has, maybe think about it, because it may be if they've got, you know, if you've got a son or daughter who plays rugby, because they both play now, and the English women's rugby team are really successful, yeah. basically that would make a great gift, maybe for a grandson or granddaughter, or a godparent, you know, good it's child. Good it's a gift or if you're actually yeah, collecting as well as And it? it's something it's it's such a significant occasion that that will always be very collectible. And you hang it maybe even in the nursery, and they'll say to you later, What was that about? And you can say, Well, that's when England run won run, won, won the uh, World Cup back yeah. in two thousand. It's a bit of history behind. It's a bit of history so, and it's yeah. personally signed, very collectible. Three hundred seven one three will bring you that uh, great rugby item, Johnny Wilkinson there, do personally sign. Great price, £59. And if you're just tuning in now, guys, go over to the website, www.benhamtv, and we have more items there, and anything that we are going to be doing throughout the show will be on there also. Yeah, and you can also follow us um, on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. So do have a little look. That great name, Benham TV. Benham have been in existence for over 50 years now. Very established name. Their roots, if you, if you know them, their roots were very much embedded in the world of stamps and coins originally, but they're now diversified and broadened out into yeah. basically touching all sorts of collectibles and memorabilia so it and suits great everyone. items. Yeah. Something for everyone. Yeah, exactly. Can't go wrong. But moving on from uh, rugby to something else very significant, the number for this is yeah. 300 714. This is an Olympic Games uh, 1996. It's actually two separate framed commemorative covers that honour the occasion when Daley Thompson and Mary Peters won gold medals for England back in the Olympic Games at that period. And the real coup de grace with this one, a bit of French there, baby. <laughs> yeah, the real coup de grace with this one is you've got an actual replica. Probably we can go in there closely can in you a get minute zoom and you'll in see. On yeah, probably about to zoom in a minute. And we're able to pick out A, you've got the, that is actually a copy of a real gold Olympic medal. So that is an exact replica of an Olympic that Games gold over. medal. Yeah. And that's actually embedded into the cover in like a, a display case. And then alongside it, you've got the image of Daley Thompson winning his medal and Mary Peters. But then they've also both personally signed it. So Perfect. again, it's a great, great item at a terrific price. And that's only the one off as well, pound. isn't it? Yeah, can't go wrong. So whatever number, if you order one of these limited editions, obviously, yeah. if you've got that, whatever number you get, you're the only person in the world no who's got it. No one else has it still. Be so quick, no guys, one. because this will go. 
it will go yeah. soon. It's so. a great item. Again, a wonderful way if you're building a collection of honouring uh, something very significant in British history was again, Daley Thompson, Mary Peters winning yeah. Olympic gold medals. If you actually looked at this, obviously it's framed, but if you actually was to have this in the flesh originally, the two covers, if you turned them over, you would be able to see the back of the medal as well so it is actually completely as a real medal would have been it's a stunning item it really really is something very very different but do have a think about that it's 300 714 and again olympic games two great commemorative covers they were produced to, in honor of them winning yeah. those medals and then they've got daily thompson to sign it yeah. mary peters to sign it and i think it's great touch to have the, um, the actual copy of the Olympic Games of medal. Of course, and I think for £69, that is a bargain, guys. So be quick, because that will soon go. It's certainly very, very 100%. affordable. Yeah. I should say also, by the way, those actual sp their actual postage stamps that were produced for the Atlanta Olympic Games. So all of those images are genuine USA postage stamps yeah. as well. So the whole story is there captured of those winning moments at yeah. the time it's a great great item no, it really not. is now moving on to something that jade is going to be much more at home with now if you see her walking down the street with one of these yeah. hey keep out of her way <laughs> but this is um this is the uh, a great item this is actually i'll give you the number 300 715 this is a jimmy white personally signed hand it's it's basically a p a pre puc leather uh, snooker carry case it's really good quality look yeah. I'm show you. and it's three available colors in well. three different colors yeah. so you've got the blue and white the white and black or the uh which we've got here or you've actually got the black with the red as well so whatever we you're wearing have. down to the snooker hall guys you've got your own choice match it cute match it to your outfit yeah and when we open it up and you can see it's a real solid piece it's a sort of uh, item that a professional would use to carry their cue around right. and then we open it up this is your special special one because as you can see there's yeah. that name of somebody that jade and i know which of course is jimmy white he's personally signed that there that's not a copy jimmy has held that in his actual hand and personally signed it so if you get one of these cases you'll get what you need if you're playing snooker or whatever well, seriously yeah. wouldn't you or even just yeah. for fun yeah of um, it's a great way of carrying around your uh, queue and there you can see whirlwind personally signed it jimmy white now of course you've met jimmy many times because i know we've got the image of you here yeah with, um, well down there, yeah well the with doing all the sky sports walk ons for seven years with them all we're all like one big sports family and yeah, very good friends with a lot of them, very close to a lot of them now. And yeah, they just, if you actually meet them in person as well, they're all amazing, yeah. humble guys as well. And that's the most important thing in someone, I think. Sure. Well, with, with somebody like, I mean, obviously I've had the pleasure of meeting Jimmy myself several times over the years yeah. at charity do's and things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does a lot Jimmy, for charity, yeah. Yeah, Jimmy does a lot. But I mean, the question, I know he must cringe every time anyone like me asks him it, but it's if you're into snooker he's obviously known as the people's champion yeah and he really yeah, is so and no disrespect yeah. to other snooker players if, if he's on somewhere he's going to put bottoms on seats isn't he i mean he really Sell, touches the out. heart yeah. of the public at all times and i think because people's been following him from the beginning as well and he's still playing amazing now it's just yeah it's 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 good people people travel people come and people enjoy it yeah and yeah he's he's won every single tournament but another one you're going to mention is the World Championships, which everyone knows he got to the final six times, but he just didn't yeah. quite. It's amazing, isn't it? Do it, yeah, but he's... He's yeah, still he's there battling away, you know, we won't say his age, but he's... he's 21. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But he's still <laughs> there battling. You, Gary. He's still bleeds Same in it. Yeah, he's still bleeding. He's worn a lot yeah. better. Though. I think if and your he, heart's uh, in it and you're passionate about doing something, it's... It's a win-win situation all around. Yeah, it is. It, he's a great guy. Yeah. But of course, remember, if you know someone who loves their snooker or their badminton or something like their pool, Jimmy also a very good pool player. This would make yeah. a fabulous gift. Got the carry handle and everything. Look, there it is. And remember, a choice of colour. You've got the blue and white, the black and white, or you've got the red and black 
uh, that we also have on the screen. So we've got the black and white here. But remember, yeah. every one of them, when you open it up, there's that surprise for you. Your little uh, special, special event is it's personally signed by Jimmy himself. Now, Jimmy, yeah, talking about Jimmy as well. He, um, I mean, do you know where the name Whirlwind originally come from? Well, it's because like, of his fast play. He plays so quick. He can mm -hmm. hit the balls quick. He's... And same as like Alex Hurricane Higgins, and now we've obviously got Vanny the Rocket. Like they're all very quick players, and I think that's yeah. entertaining for people to watch. Yeah. And yeah, they're just exciting players, and that's why I think they've got a huge following. All of them, all three yeah. of them. I and can't. Yeah. I can't remember. I mean, you were saying we're just talking about a, a charity do, and we met at a yeah. certain place in Surrey, and he was yeah. practicing. And I was saying to someone, and they said, "Did you shut up for a change?" I went, "Actually, I didn't. I'm a rabbit in a one. I'm thinking there's Jimmy White there practicing playing <laughs> snooker, <laughs> yeah. and he did. I'm surprised he didn't turn around and hit me on there with a cue. Oh, I'm don't worry. Still it's, talking. It's some of the he's events so we do. Fast, he? he's, he's so quick. Some of the events do. I walk over the floor when they're playing and. I just uh, sometimes I'm in my own little world and he's looking as if to say, Jade, I'm playing. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry for disturbing you. Yeah. But no, yeah, he's um, no, the great do, the great the charity events, whether they the exhibitions or the actual charity events themselves, it's yeah, they're all really good. Yeah, get yourself mm. get yourself there, guys. Yeah. If, if we're in your area, make sure you come along. Can't do wrong. Yeah. These, you literally, you'll see them in person, but yeah, they're all on the website, www.benham.tv. So head over to there, you can watch any of our videos. If you're just tuning in now and you have missed the beginning of the show, you can see what items you have missed as well. That's great. So. And do remember, if you wherever your friends and family live worldwide, if you go to that website, www.benham.tv, you yep. see there's a menu there, and down the side, you can actually select what shows you want to watch, whether it's sport, boxing, Formula One, Star Wars, Game of Thrones, music. There's loads of a bit shows for there. Everyone. That's just a, you just select the shows you want to watch when you want to watch yep. them, and you can see them 24 hours a day worldwide and we're on so facebook twitter and instagram as well guys so tune in and get following can't go wrong but uh, moving on from this queue to something slightly different what we've actually got here the number for this is 300 716 and there you can see jade there posing with a the man himself you know uh, yeah. what you've actually got here this is an actual cue and it's top quality playing cue. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy said he's played with this and practiced with this cue himself yeah, good many cue, times. That, yeah. We've shown you three images of the cue. Obviously, it's, it, you know, it, it actually comes down and you screw it all together. But you actually get the actual cue and then in it, you'll get a case and the cue itself is personally signed Same. by Jimmy, isn't yeah. it? Great it item, is. fabulous price. I know the quality of these. I showed it to a couple of people. Oh, the quality the is amazing. Was on, yeah. it, it was probably a, a hundred and fifty pounds or more. Yeah. You know, for something like that. Yeah. And you're getting Jimmy's signature on of it as course. well. And you might play that a little bit quicker as well, guys. Yeah. Seeing though it's Jimmy's got kit. Got speedo on the end of it. Yeah. yeah that's right. <laughs> a, little, a little one. Yep. Can't be bad, but it is a man himself. But it's three hundred seven one six, and it's actually what you're getting here is a top quality. Uh, playing level cue. One or two people asked me about the. I had a couple of messages previously yeah. when we sort of saw this on TV, asking me certain technical questions, which I got Jimmy to answer personally. Yeah, of course. And they got it, and they said it was amazing. They loved yeah. it, you know. But no, the great thing is, does. you will also get. Normally, it doesn't include that, but at the moment, we will, you are, we will get here on Benham TV an actual uh, carry case. Exactly the with same as, as well. you just shot yeah. with it. So you'll get the cue sign and the case to you know, to yeah. carry it all around, all for that great, great price. So if someone's birthday is coming up, if it's a surprise, if you're a collector, this is the perfect present if you're a snooker fan. Can't so, go wrong. Can yeah. you? If you've got one in the family, you know, there's millions out there. If you want to do a bit of, a lot of posing, yeah. walk around, you can say, yeah, they go, what you got there? They go, oh, just a bit of a cue, like, you know, and you undo it, and they think, boy, this boy means business, or this, this lady yeah. means business, you know, <laughs> got to keep it of right. Course. And there it is, you've got the oh, cue there. Oh, there's some amazing women players out there as well. Yeah, I know. Oh, there is. Yeah. Give you guys a run for your money, I tell you. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, it's like all sports. I mean, some people say to me, like the one I was in, my rugby, yeah. my God, how the women 
play rugby, but we, the answer is very, very well. Yeah. And I mean, I'm very. Oh, oh they're so good. So, entering yeah. dodgy water here with you, I know. But don't, don't basically, worry about I've, I've always used to think at first, oh, women should play rugby to get hurt. But yeah. they play rugby with the same passion. But I then think, I, yeah. I'm also like, you know, you know, my partner, Jules, as well. I mean, she's a huge believer, and I am as well, that you should always have the opportunity to do what you want and when you want to do it. And know who am yeah. I to say to me, you shouldn't do that, you shouldn't do this. If you want to do it, can't have a go. Well, if it this is upset it. Yeah. Well, when I was on that Good Morning Britain with Piers Morgan, he, we was on with a feminist who was obviously against us doing what we did. She was an ex-model herself. Mm. Um, so it was just a bit upsetting. I thought she would have been a bit more supportive, a bit more understanding. But mm. even Piers, being a guy, he is on our side as well. And he said feminism should be women being able to choose what they want to do. Well, it is. I mean, um, if you were talking fully, to female yeah. rugby players or female boxers, I that's fully exactly what they would say. They're amazing. It? Even though people will class that as a guy sport, it's becoming very mixed these days. And I think, yeah, yeah if someone's happy to do something, whether it's if, it, if it's a girl's job, if it's a guy's job, I fully support that. Yeah. Because I've got heart and passion in something. Well, well if once, you've got to do what you enjoy, guys. Well, when I was at school, I was wanting to play netball it. with the girls. But now, oh, I you bet know, you did. on Thursdays, I've become you did. Jennifer. That is a joke, by the way. <laughs> I've become Jennifer and I wear my netball gear. So if you see me in that, run a mile. But no, I am kidding you there, aren't I? <laughs> oh, can imagine you now in your little yeah, netball skirt, Yeah, not a good skirt, sight. Gary. But on a serious leap, I'm a great believer that people should always be encouraged to yeah. try to do what, what they, they want to do and do. what they believe in and be given it. Why should you yeah. have the opportunity taken away? So I think yeah. it's great. And now I think yeah. watching women play rugby much better than most men as well, you know. And I it's bet you brilliant, you're scared you know? of, Yeah, but you're like, oh, that's a good little... Yeah, want to walk past yeah, her in the street. Yeah, it's a bit of a movie, you know. Yeah. And, um, yeah, and they have the same passion, the same desire, yeah. the same as I did, but the, most of them are much better than I ever was, you know. Yeah, it's no, amazing. very, very talented. But you fancy yeah. a, a really nice queue there. You can't go wrong. It is your queue for buying it as well. Don't miss out. 300 716 We'll bring you Jimmy White there. Remember, it's a personally signed, it's not a copy. Jimmy's held that in his own yeah. fair hand and hand signed it. We guarantee it, you'll come with a certificate of authenticity. You'll get a lifetime guarantee and it comes with that name of AFTAL. You may have saw that at the beginning of the show, AFTAL. Or when we talk about signed collectibles here on Bedham TV, we guarantee that they come with the very best provenance that you could ever get. Yeah, they are hand signed. They're not printed, not photocopied, not auto pen. They are hand signed by the various celebrities and sports stars. But that's a great price. Brings you a really good cue. And even the uh, hand case to carry it around in. Yeah. Turn heads in that, wouldn't you, babe? Eh? Oh, you would. And you've got three <laughs> different colours as well to choose from. So, yeah, if you want all three. Depends what outfit you put on, Gary. Can't go, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure what that'll go with, yeah. Don't know which one will go with yours today. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Man in black or whatever. <laughs> Can't go wrong, but don't miss out because, again, don't have big stocks of any of these and they have proven very popular in the past. And that's an amazing price as well. It is, yeah, because you'd pay probably, I think you'd pay at least another... 30 or 40 pounds easily just e for the queue yeah and they're giving you the you know the uh, the case in well, with it with it all, it's and the queue yeah. signed so you can't go wrong no. also a great maybe you've got a, you know a table somewhere maybe in a you know in a pub or a club or maybe even your own home imagine having that displayed near the table it would look stunning absolutely stunning do not miss out. 300 716 will bring you a little piece of the whirlwind's hand. Held it, handled it, and again, it could be yours. £119.95. Extremely affordable for something very, very special. Moving on from Jimmy to the world of cricket. Um, this, of course, this particular guy is always one of the, mo the most popular guys in the world of cricket, expanding it in the media world, of yeah. course, Ian Botham. The just give you the number, 300 717. What it is, it's called the Golden Age of Cricket, and it's like a beautiful print there with a sort of a, a very sort of mellow, you know, sort of mellow background, measuring um, cricket in the background, and then overlaid in the front, they are all various cricket stamped, genuine postage stamped, yeah. and then you've got the personal signature of Ian Botham. So it's a great, great item and really, really collectible, £49. Yeah, pounds. of course. Now, cricket, is that something you've got involved in or is that I've a I've never stunt? got involved. No. Well, play, well, yeah, well. I've never played. I like watching it. I used to play it as a kid. Yeah. Well, rounders, similar stuff. But yeah. <laughs> the cricketers won't say that. Yeah. yeah not <laughs> that's not cricket. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. But yeah, yeah no, um, no, it's a good sport. It's um, a yeah. lovely piece uh, and I think £49, that is... 
It's such a good prize for that it as well. It is, and, and Sri and Botham is not a, yeah. an easy signature to get. To get. No, but obviously not he's all. done, again, he's another guy I admire, done a lot of work with charity. Yeah. Um, even used to play the odd game of rugby in his earlier career as well. And his yeah. son was a good rugby player, you know. But um, yeah, it's a great, great item. Very, very, very popular. Has a huge following. And it's your opportunity to get your hands on something uh, again that yeah. uh, is very different. You can see there his signature. It's pretty, you know, sort of, I don't know, you could say it's not a large signature, but we guarantee that is hand signed by him both of them yeah. and you get all the provenance you need to know that it is real. Exactly. Can't go wrong. Moving on from Ian Botham and the golden age of cricket, again, staying with the world of sport and different sports, we move on to um, something that is really quite stunning next to me here. The, I'll it, give you the number for this because we're going to yeah. talk about it. It's 300718. It's USA. It's, it's for the 100th Open. In other words, the, 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 the centenary Open event ever took place in Pebble Beach. Got a great image of Tiger Woods, yeah. and over there in the corner, you'll pick up. We'll pick up. We're going. You'll actually pick up the genuine signature of Tiger Woods, which is over here. You'll probably see over there. That is actual Tiger Woods' personal yeah. signature. And this he's, is he's just making a comeback as well, isn't he? Yeah. He's just had three back operations, and yeah. I think he's going to be one to watch this year. I think he's going to be winning a lot more again. So. But he was a great, great player, and a yeah. guy in golf played by millions of people worldwide. Oh, it's, it? it's one of the most but popular sports at the minute to play, yeah. whether it's a hobby, whether they compete. Yep. It's, everyone seems, it's golfing holidays. I know. They're taking over the sunbathing ones yeah, now. Yeah, I know, they're, they're huge, aren't they? Yeah. And the great thing about this, remember, is because it's such a significant golf event as the 100th Open, this would always be extremely collectible and sought after as a golf piece of art or yep. a it's golf so collectible. It's a golf It's presented piece of as well, isn't it? There's no point oh, anywhere. We only have the one of these. So once it's gone, obviously we cannot ever bring it back. It's a beautiful item. It was sourced by Benham's worldwide network of, of, of contacts. But I think it's a great, great item. They do have other golf items, so do check that website, www.benham.tv. Uh, but it is something that's stunning. Should say as well, when you see it there, it will come framed and everything as you've got here. In the yeah. studio, one we have here is not actually framed. We've taken it out so you can see, see. it in the flesh. Yeah. But in actual fact, in real life, it will come to you framed, beautifully put together, delivered to your door by courier service, ready to just hang on your wall. And I think it would look nice anywhere, that whether it was in your mm. workplace, in your home, any single room. It's such a classy piece, the way it's done. And and that's yeah. right. And if, again, it's if you're a member of a golf so club or you run a golf club yeah. or something like imagine putting that on the wall, it's going to look stunning. Yeah. And there's one of them, guys, so be quick because this will go very quick. Yeah, it's a really yeah. fantastic item, and it's a must. Any golfer would just cherish that. A fabulous, fabulous item. But also, remember, maybe um, if you have a charity event, something coming up, particularly with golf involved, that would make an incredible gift for somebody. Yeah. Or you may have, like we were talking at a soccer show, if you saw it with my old man, Andy Woodward, with something like this, this could be used maybe as uh, if you're doing a live auction yeah. or a silent auction sort of item when people have had a couple of the old sherbets, you know, they oh, get on the yeah. thing. And, right. you know, and it's all for charity. These are the items that people fight like mad to get their hands on. Wouldn't it look good in yeah. your golf club or in maybe in your golf ballroom or committee room? Imagine that, eh? Just phenomenal. And it is real. I mean, you know, when you it's go to a lot of these events as well, it is this. there's always a big passion, whatever the sport is, there's always a big yeah. passion for fans wanting to meet the celebrities and they get to see them, yeah. get to know them. So it's it's really hard to actually get autographs genuinely of someone of like that. You can't get near enough. No, of course, you? and especially like one off pieces like this, it's because a lot of the sports guys, they're traveling all over the world, the different competitions, and mm. to actually get unique one-off pieces like this is rare, guys, so you need to be quick with it. It's a beautiful piece, and yeah, it's, yeah, I like different, it myself. Different, very, very yes. different. It's 300, it 718, it's that USA, it's an original flag, it's not a copy, it's a genuine USA o a flag from the 100th Open that took place yeah. in Pebble Beach there. Absolutely stunning, genuine piece of rare golf memorabilia. 
personally that, Samba Tiger was He's actually had 79 pounds. wins as well. That's like the top ranked among all the active players and I think he's going to get another one. Yeah. Another few. Yeah, now he, he's back on tour. That's from, right, he's back now. He's had injuries and everything. He's had, yes, three back operations he's wow. had and he's coming back. So, yeah, I think he's, I think he's one to watch. Certainly So is. it makes it all this more special as well, it guys. certainly so. does. Don't delay on that. It is something extremely rare and totally unique. But moving on from Tiger Woods on the golf course, we're moving on now to another item. This, of course, is it gets somebody who else I know you've met. Yeah. This is 300719. Now, this is uh, AP McCoy, probably one of Britain's most successful jockeys ever. Great photograph of him and personally signed. Oh, is now, where did yeah. you meet? Um, I did. It was at an evening with. Oh, wow. Right. Um, okay. So, yeah, we did an evening with and he spoke about his life story and... Yeah, we just we just went through everything of his full career, and he, he's such a humble, down to earth guy. And I think that's why people warm to him and love him so much. Sure. Um, like he's he's rode in twenty English Grand Nationals. He won one in two thousand and ten. He's won the the Scottish, yeah. the Welsh, oh, the Irish. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. And he actually won the twenty jockey titles in a row. So that's the most wins out of any. It's amazing. And it's quite, jockey, um, yeah. so we are actually done. hoping that we can um, entice him with Jade's help and her connections of not having met him to perhaps uh, come on and say hello to us either by phone or maybe by yes. Skype or something like that. So keep watching because we might have a little surprise for you at some future yep, point with him in the show. But uh, again, and you were telling me he's actually very tall for a he's jockey. Actually, yeah, he's he? five foot ten. Wow. And to, to, do, to actually win all those, because a lot of jockeys are quite small, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, sure. Yes, but five foot ten, obviously, I'm not too sure how much he weighs, um, but I know obviously the height is a big factor. Like, if he was a little bit smaller, he'd still be riding, maybe. Sure. Um, but yeah, he's, to win all those as well, and at five foot ten, he's done amazing. He certainly amazing. has. Yeah, I'm it proud is, of him. It he's is done well. amazing. I remember, me, fact, you know. How I'm, tall are you? I'm, How tall are you? I'm about, well, like, it depends. I say I'm about five, ten and a half, but I was that little a little bit laughing. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, with my big broad do. shoulders and all that, yeah. Another I mean, I, I love horses as well. I mean, I, you know, racing, occasionally a day out races is great. I'm not it's a, a big great day racing out, yeah. man, but it's always a fun place. But yeah. that guy is like the, the creme de la creme of the of industry. The racing. Highly respected. Yep. And what a wonder, again, if you're building a collection or you love your racing, you've got to think about that. You'll and, know someone yeah. who would love that as a fabulous gift. And that £75, when we, when the night and the evening I was doing with him, they went for a lot more, guys. So this mm. is a bargain. This is an amazing price. And... An amazing photo of a great guy. It so is. It's be extremely quick to get affordable. Them. It's 300 719 AP McCoy. They're great photograph there it will come framed and everything ready to just take out and hang on your favorite wall or maybe yep. again you could use it for a fundraising event if that's what you wish but don't delay great great item just look at that we better move yep. on because we've still got lots more to show you in this uh, hour of all sports and if you're just tuning in guys as well don't forget to go to benham www.benham tv and we've got everything we've done today which is the jimmy q yep. and the case We've got the AP McCoy, which we have just done now. We've, and the we've, whole show, you can watch the, the whole, whole show. show if yeah, you, want. you can go back and watch from the very Anything. beginning, or you can skip through. So yeah, you just pick the bit show you want that you to. want to watch. There's a whole menu there. You can pick the shows that you want to watch and watch them when you want to see them worldwide. So your friends, your family across the globe can pick up and see these shows. Maybe they'll remind them of home or whatever. Or better still, maybe if, as Jade said earlier, you've got a birthday, anniversary, special occasion, yeah. retirement, whatever it is. Or as we always say, just to say, hey, I love <laughs> you, they make great gifts. Now, another very infamous jockey. This is 300 720. This is Lester Piggott. A yeah. massive, massive name. Obviously retired and everything now. This is a great item again, framed and mounted. And yeah. at forty nine pounds, I think it's a snip. Yeah, absolutely superb. My friend was actually named after Lester. His really? dad actually named him after Lester. Yeah. Oh yeah, he was Lester like an, like, a, a massive legendary yeah. character again. You know, whereas A. B. McCoy is more current or was until recently yeah. Leicester obviously was much older circuit, yeah. but he was a hugely successful jockey massively yeah. successful and again if you're in that world something that 
any fan would love to get their it's hands a, on. It's a, it's a big thing now, all the horse racing. With all the mm. competitions that are going on, they have such a huge following. They so whether do. you are a collector or if it's a birthday present, a surprise, there's something for everyone, guys. You're quite right so, there. Yeah. <laughs> quite it's right 307 to 0. Bring you Lester Piggott there, framed and mounted, £49, just ready to hang on your wall. Were you trying to do my northern accent then? Was I? I don't know. That's, I mean, I was a Cumbrian, really. You know, oh, I'm leaving. So I can't take this one anywhere. <laughs> so then you wouldn't believe I was. A, the names I used to get called Gert Feckley, something or other from Smork. Here he is, you know. That's me, you know. <laughs> Here's Never a cocktail. Is, here he comes. Here he comes, yeah. Get him out of the way. They used to say I moved the cobbles when I walked up the road, you know. Oh, it makes you different. You hear from. you before you see you. Yeah. yeah. That's right. That's Moving on, good. though, because you've still got loads to show you. Now, this is something that you will drool over. We may well have seen this in our special boxing special. This is 300-300. It's actually beautifully put together. It comes framed and mounted. Great photograph of the king himself of the ring, Muhammad Ali. This is a beautifully put together. It's got a big box frame and a personally yeah. signed glove. I should tell you the glove itself comes with impeccable provenance. You actually get an individual a uh, hologram document that if you get if you read it or feed it into the internet or however you want to do it will tell you where it was signed when it was signed the date it was signed and if you keep and store that information it relates independently purely to the individual glove that yeah. you get we have very few of these left obviously it's a considered purchase but you can go on the internet and sadly many many of them offered out there are fake this is real and you'll get your lifetime guarantee with the name of Aftal behind it get your certificates of authenticity keep all the paperwork but if you want something that's real that's live yeah. that's genuine that is a true collector's masterpiece there's not many of them either is there? It, no it's a stunning item 300 300 it's Muhammad yeah. Ali that framed and mounted Great signed, uh, great signature and everything with him. And it's personally signed on the glove. Yeah. It's £2,225. But you could be paying that or more or even less. It's up to you. But yeah. you could be paying a lot of money or a similar amount. And it ain't real. real. This is. That's the, I think that's the main thing. Because people don't know what they get when they get it from. No, you'll be so you've careful. Got be, you, you've got to be so careful with, obviously, when you're getting the memorabilia and the collectible stuff. Because there is a lot of fakes going on. You're there is a kidding. lot out there. Yeah. And yeah, everything that you see on this show is they've got 100% proof with everything. So, yeah, but it's, we've well, got some amazing pieces coming up. Aftow actually authenticate for people like the police, for trading standards, insurance companies, even for high street auctioneers. That's how important. If you want it, go and have a little Google, A F T A L, you'll see what it's about and it will tell you that when you buy them and it has their name on it, you cannot go wrong so important That's but we'll move on yep. it's got loads more to show you so from the past we bring you we stay in the ring but we bring you up to the current time with britain's pride and joy won the gold medal at the olympics turned professional currently unbeaten hopefully will stay that way 300 310 it's a great photographic montage of anthony joshua yeah, no, it's a lovely and piece. again personally signed it'll come to you exactly as you see it Imagine you know someone who is going to love and cherish that. Now he's he a is boxing guy at the minute, isn't boxer, he? That everyone's yeah. watching. Have you ever met him or not? No, not yet. Not yet. Um, the talks of some things coming up, and yeah, he's supposed to be such a great, humble guy, yeah. and obviously with an amazing talent as well. And I, I don't think. It, he doesn't go past four rounds, does he normally? Until well, not he, normally. He has, a, yeah. he has a bit more recently. Well, the last but, I mean, one the went last to one, the full 12, distance. a full yeah. twelve. Yeah, I couldn't even do one. <laughs> I couldn't even do one, I don't think. I know, especially when you've got that weight and power behind you, yes. you? can you imagine? Oh, it used to be yeah. terrible my old woman used to hit me on the head with a sauce <laughs> you? when I come home late. You know? I wasn't born like you're this, honest. You're you know, good at yeah, yeah. I hope so. Should have done. <laughs> but, um, and also, uh, the thing I love about Anthony Joshua, I have had the pleasure of meeting yeah. him once, but the thing I love about him, as you say, so humble and so appreciative of his fan. Yeah. And when he's finished a fight, 45 minutes later, you'll still see him walking his way Around. back to the... To the, to the dressing room, stopping for selfies, yeah. stopping for autographs. I think that's the most important. Yeah. And so he really touches the heart of the fans, and I think that's fantastic. That's why you get so many followers, by just yeah. being genuine, loving yeah. them. Yeah. And he, you know, he, he had some tough starts in his early life, yeah. but he, he, he really keeps touch with everybody, and yeah. he touches the heart of Max, and he's a fantastic, unbeaten well. British legend. Yeah. 
300 310 will bring you Anthony Joshua there. That fabulous looking photo montage. Personally signed again. And it will come, remember, all the package, um, packaging, all the providence <laughs> you need. It will come in packaging. It will be delivered by courier to your door. You cannot go wrong. Look at that. £289.99. If you are looking, uh, you're watching this from overseas or you're looking at the, or through the yep. website, www.benham.tv, do remember they can give you the details. If you want it sent overseas, they'll give you the rates of pay. You can actually get it sent to most countries around the world, no problem whatsoever. But dive yep. in there quickly, please. We, we better move on because we've still got yep. lots more to show you. Then we move into the world of Formula One and, of course, Lewis Hamilton. Yep. Now, Lewis Hamilton, what, just become world champion, British. Yeah. Not started quite as hot this year no, so I far. No, I think he's come fourth in his last race. I just yeah. hopefully he'll pick this up is, um, and get some more wins. Yeah. This is, by yeah. the way, the number for this is 30722. Basically what you've got, this is a personally signed... Uh, uh, cap. You've actually got the uh, personally signed uh, cap there. Oh, no, it's a shirt, isn't it? Sorry, I think it was a cap. This one's a shirt. Personally this one. signed yep. shirt there. Sorry. Presentation display. It comes with the shirt, the display, everything on there. Absolutely superb. And it's, it's, it is um, ready to literally just hang on your wall. Yeah, absolutely ready superb. Ready to go. A big it's old piece go. as well. This is about, in the flesh, I think it's probably about three foot by two foot it is huge yeah ready to just hang on your stunning wall and again piece. comes with stunning uh stunning provenance should say to you by the way with some of these more um expensive items you know or can do a bit of a, yeah yeah if you give them a call uh, to the call center or better still if you either send an email to info at benham.tv or you send um on the website a message via the website they, Benham do offer some special um, terms where you can buy some of these more expensive items over yep. a period of months. It's very much individual case by individual case, but do give them a ring or drop them an email and they will come back to you wherever you are and they'll give you an idea, give you the option that you can buy some of them by, um, by sort of spread the terms over a few months. Yeah. But do, do try that. It's well worth doing it because obviously some of them are considered purchases, but you don't need to miss out. Do give them a call or yeah. speak to them, or of course via the website, whatever, and they'll answer it. So it's, it suits everyone, then, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, really does. But that's your uh, Lewis Hamilton there, three hundred seven double two. That uh, great framed, personally signed shirt, great presentation display, ready to just hang on your wall. Four hundred and seventy nine pounds ninety five for something that's a fabulous and really rare uh, collector's item. Yeah. And moving on from Lewis Hamilton, going back to some of these great pictures we have over here. Now we have, of course, this is David Gatt. Uh, oh, sorry, we've missed one there, didn't we? Sorry, I didn't talk about him. Just forgot to talk about him. This, you can't of course, be missing it. Is Usain Bolt. that quick. You've missed. Yeah, I know. You've missed. Is that quick? He went. Sorry. This is Usain Bolt, of course. How could we have missed him? Another athletics icon. 30721. Again, great image of him there in a photographic image, personally signed again. And something if you're looking for rare and very difficult to get, um, you know, items from the world of athletics or whatever, it's this is one hard. you should have. Yeah, no, 100%. You wouldn't want to chase him around, so, would you? You wouldn't catch him. No, I know. It's like, he'd, walk, he'd walk quicker than us, Gary. Yeah, I know. It's terrible, isn't no, yeah, it? Is, yeah. No, but yeah. Anyone who's just tuning in, guys, go to www.benham.tv and we've got all the items you can see here, plus many more. So whether it's for birthdays, a surprise, or if you're just a general collector, there's something there for everyone. So... It's yeah, and a lot of them are the, the prices that they're going for as well are Some unbelievable. Are this yeah. obviously again is a considered purchase, but where would you go to get a, a photograph? It's the framing would probably cost you two hundred quid on that. Easy. Where would you go to get such a great item, personally signed by the man himself? Exactly. Absolutely superb. We got to move on because we're running out of time, talking too much, aren't I? Moving on, and the man I was going to go to, the cricketer, three hundred seven two three. I whip through a few of these. There it is. Great image, uh, framed and mounted. David Gower, England's one of the most popular England cricketers ever. Now there's a lot of commentating. Any cricket fan would love that. Great gift. 300, 723, David Gower, £49. Then if we move on from David Gower, we have a, this again is something from my world. This is those rugby balls. What this is, um, this is 300, 724. 
basically you're getting, you're seeing two images of the same thing. This is an official Six Nations rugby ball that was issued for the Ireland v England game in 2013 in Dublin. And it was personally signed at the Hurlingham Club where they yeah. do the official launch for Six Nations. Personally signed by both the England captain at the time, which was Chris Robshaw, and the Ireland captain, Jamie Heaslip. But because this is a match issue ball, very, very collectible, very rare, and at £275, I think that would look great yeah. in any display cabinet of and any rugby oh league or yeah, an office. Some, and that's just a one-off piece as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it can't go wrong. It's so that is the super. only one that we've got, guys. So yeah. that will be, it will go out quick, so you need to be quick. So anything you do see today, especially the one-off pieces, they will be going out very quick because the prices are they're yeah. un they're unreal, some of them. And I can actually tell you, I'm actually there when that, that there was a couple yeah. of these. The other one sold in a charity event. Yeah. But they were, I was actually at the Hurlingham Club when this was done. They had the press oh, okay. launch for the Hurlingham yeah. Club. It's usually on, you know, places like BBC TV and yeah. where they do it all. And Sky News, CNN, places yeah. like that, ITM maybe. I think they all cover it. But basically the captains are all there of the Six Nations team. Yeah. And this is where that was signed. As I said, at the time it was Chris Robshaw and Jamie Heaslip. Jamie Heaslip now had to retire, but he was a great servant for Irish rugby, captain, British Lions player, really class act. And Chris Robshaw, probably one of England's most consistent and underrated very unlucky not to go on the lions too but a yeah. great great place so it's signed by two terrific rugby players but moving on because we've got more to show you talking about rugby yep. we couldn't go far without this one of course this of course on the uh, in front of us isn't it this one there we have of course one of rugby's most evocative and well-known characters this is willie john mcbride now this is 30725 and again 49 pounds framed and mounted personally so where would you go to get that should tell you by the way that willie john mcbride was the captain of the only unbeaten the only lions team that have ever toured and been completely unbeaten wow back in i think that was 1974 i think completely unbeaten he wow. was the captain so that is very very well, this, significant it makes this piece all more special as well then it really does, it does. anyone in the rugby yeah. world would would absolutely cherish that without any doubt and 49 pound that is can't go wrong no if my family are watching daddy would like one of those you know granddaddy Bit of a hint hint there for yeah, you yeah yeah i like what's that finger they put up at me that's not very nice is it anyway <laughs> yeah. moving on from willie john mcbride to another stunning item this one, of course, is uh, Billy Beaumont, another great rugby player, again a captain of the British Lions, and now, of course, I think he's chairman of the uh, International Rugby Board or something like that. I had the yeah. pleasure of meeting Billy, great guy, does loads for the game. But this is 300, 726. Look at that, stunning item, great image of the man in action himself. Was captain of England, played for Fylde up your part of the world. He was from Fylde Rugby Club up in Oh, Liverpool. yes. And uh, oh, for many, many years, by yeah. Personally signed, £49 will bring you a piece of Billy Bowman. Then if we move on, because we're running out of time, we better move on. We'll move on from Billy back to the track. And, of course, a very significant athlete. This is Lord Sebastian Coe in his peak running. 300.727. Again, personally signed wonderful image yeah. and again if you I just love the image where it just catches that specific moment with it yeah it's great isn't it with a flag obviously having yeah. one of them. at the time I mean I know you're too young for these but he was a big battle with Steve Over uh, Over Steve Over yeah. and the two of them they were so good wasn't they a bit later I think Steve Cram come along slightly after that but we yeah. had some great runners for those distances around the time but Seb Coe was right up there with the top one you know the top runners in the world and the, the training thing that's put into them. Yeah, and, and what's so significant, of course, since he's given up, he's become, uh, well, a, an icon, in real legend in the uh, world of you know, athletics and yeah. stuff. And, of course, you know, won that well, well deserved honour and was involved with the um, Olympics here and everything. But again, that is personally signed by the man himself. Yeah. So, do you, have you got many athletics fans around you? Or? Um, it was just boys used to chase you down was, the pier, wasn't it, back home? Oh, I made sure I was a quick runner. <laughs> got away. Yeah. Yeah, no, I chase, I chase after the ice cream van as well. <laughs> but yeah, no, no um, I I beat you to that, though, didn't I? The ice cream van. We oh, I don't know. I could give you a run for your money. Don't you worry about that. Yeah. Could you give you it? Yeah. But no, yeah, athletics, it's, um, yeah, to get these pieces as well, they're so rare to get and so hard to get hold of as well. But yeah, athletics, growing up. 
loved playing it. A bit of a tomboy, if I'm honest. Yeah. Um, football, netball, running, you name it, I was there. What about you? Was you? Uh, well, I actually played quite well, a lot of sport. Did you I hide or was you mate. stuck out Oh, there. no, no, I was always on the front line, you yeah. know, in sport. I'm basically a real pussycat off the uh, pitch. Gentle but anyone giant, who plays with sport, I was like, I sadly always played to win. I was a good loser. After about 20 minutes, I come round. Yeah. But I, think I most always sports, played to most win. Most sportsmen are. I think when you get them straight away, yeah. you shouldn't, you shouldn't, no. Not straight no. away, especially the interviews with the players when they lose, no. Yeah, I think they need up, to give them a right. bit of time. So how do you feel you've just lost? Do you think, how do you think I feel? You yeah. Know, do you want, I like your nose, you know, you've got to keep it that way, dear. That's right, you, they you ask feel? you the wrong question at the wrong time. At the wrong time. time. So yeah. if you do that interview, don't ask them just when they've lost or something. You give know. them a bit of give time Give them a chance first. to breathe first, yeah. you know. But yeah, anyone who used to play rugby with me, because I was a captain, surprisingly enough, I had quite a lot to say. You'd never understand that. Oh, really, I would never have guessed. But, um, no, no, no one could get a word in edgeways, it was could they? quiet dressing room. <laughs> but when I clapped my hands, I used to expect silence. I used to get yeah. a lot of finger gestures. Never did figure out what they meant, but um, <laughs> comments. But we are right, we're going to kill. But I always used to play to win. I think if yeah. you play sport, if you don't play to win, Oh, of course, you it's 100% or nothing. Especially sport like rugby, yeah. you get hurt. You know, Put 100% into it, in. of course. But athletics, I did do, it's believe it or not, I used to run for the school as well, you know. Did you and um, yeah, I, used run, to do in, I was all right in the 100 yards and things like that. Yeah. I could sprint, you know. And if they got in front, I used this great trick of trying to trip them up. But we won't go into that. <laughs> was you one of <laughs> so, the cheater ones? Well, I was, yeah, no, I won't go into that. Yeah, so I would have ways <laughs> of making sure they didn't beat yeah. me, hopefully, but they did, invariably did. 300, 727, I'm rambling again, and I bring you a piece of Lord Sebastian and Coe. 49. There. Yeah, great item in yeah. it can't go wrong and of course if you're looking at all the different sports imagine maybe you have a drawing room or a nice room you want to you know a little shrine you're trying to build yourself a man cave a lady cave wherever it is these are going to look stunning you could build a whole collection maybe up the staircase as you go up the stairs they look brilliant i think they look like i love houses like that yeah they look stunning they do, they do the feature walls with a lot of the memorabilia stunning yeah, they look terrific. Yeah. And now, I tell you what I really like is it's become more fashionable to have lots of images on the wall at the same time. Yeah. When I first got hitched, they have like one image in the wall. It's all wall and you think, just, you know, it's like just one, that one look. But now one you can have loads. Middle. So it's you brilliant for yeah. someone like me. You could do so many different displays with it all. Yeah, you're right. Special, there's so many pieces on here that we could do it with as well. Now, moving on, I know we're running out of time, to somebody else who's a, a good friend of our Jade, who you've known. I know you uh, work with him quite a bit, of course. Steve oh, Davis. The Nugget. The number yep. for this, 37728. Again, personally signed photograph. And, of course, one of Snooker's greatest. Yeah. Now, tell us, what can you tell us about Steve? Oh, I, I love Steve. He's so... He's, what, what people get, people think he's quiet and is known as, yeah, pe people see him just doing his thing on the TV, but he's actually such a funny guy. Yeah. He's such a funny guy, and he was six times world champion, the one that's obviously going on at the Crucible, and yeah, yeah. he's won every single tournament. He's, a, he's an amazing player. Yeah. Great guy, so humble as well, and yeah, no, yeah, he's a good friend as well. Yeah. Can't yeah. go wrong. No, he does well. And there he is again. That is hand signed by the man himself. Not a print, not a facsimile. It is guaranteed 100% that Steve Davis has held that in his hand and personally signed it. Now, again, yeah. when you go to some of these is events as well, the, 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 the amount of time and pressure on the players like this they're all wanting to try and get photos and selfies now and oh, everything, literally they? yeah so to get signatures it's not easy is it it's not no no see it's normally a lot of the events we do we have a vip section where people come for the autographs the photos then the normal tickets come in and then yeah it depends how quick they have to rush off or not they can get a few at the end but to get these actually signed it's it's quite hard it's Certainly quite hard is. plus Steve's actually on the DJing circuit now, so to actually get him at an event is quite tough as it is. He's DJing. He's is DJing he? oh, really? now, yeah. Wow. He's DJing, well, yeah, so keep your eye out for that him. That gives me hope. I always wanted yeah, to he's, be a he's DJ. Doing, you know, he's doing some festivals, yeah. yeah. Really? We'll all have to go and give him our support. I always support. fancy that Dol Mills with the rest. Together is the You're best. You're going to show him you know, your, your little dance moves. Yeah, my little Ga moves. I'm Gazza will be at the front. He'll be at the front leading everyone. They want to be able to see him. I was at the front, would they? Moving on, though, from Steve Davis. Don't worry, I'm not going to limbo at an event near you, not lately. Um, but uh, again, moving on to something that is 
incredible i don't know what to say about this this is just incredibly rare this is, is a typical sort of rare item that benham have conjured up from their vaults or their aladdin cave of contacts around the world yeah. it's just phenomenal this is How 300 can you even get that? yeah 307 what it actually is is a hand signed letter from probably the most famous cricketer of the old world, W.G. Grace. And Just once this is gone, it will be gone and it will go quite quick, this guy, because it is such a rare piece. It um, is. I mean, I've never ever seen no. it. I've never ever seen anything like that. I don't even know how they got that. That's. No. Yeah. It it's, it's a unique piece, that, yeah. It's amazing. So tell us about, I mean, obviously now you're developing more into doing um, presenting, you're doing a lot of live events. DJ, is that one of your uh, DJ, oh, hits? Oh, not? I'd give it, I've never, oh, I've, I've tried it once. Uh, well, no, I, I've tried it twice. Once the music cut off, so everyone yeah. sort of looked. And then, yeah, the other time I actually mixed it in quite well. Yeah. R&B, though, it's, I can do the R&B stuff. Oh, can you do with, that? Can yeah, it's love R&B. But, yeah, no, DJ, and it's, that's another skill set as well. Yeah, I that's mean, another. I, you just need to gauge the audience, see what they're dancing to, see, because you can easily kill the mood. Yep. But then yeah. next minute they pop another one of your favourites, and that's it. You back off. Yeah, probably with me. The walk to the bar dance. In, um, you know, I see myself sitting in the sun, a bit like a refugee from something like a show on TV, like Benny Dawn. If you're watching, I'm available. But you yeah. know, something like that. <laughs> Love Benny Sitting Dawn. there doing a bit of DJ and all, yeah. all the crowd, you know, doing ah good do or something like that. Or oh, sorry, I actually, I'm, I'm good so friends. Well. I'm actually oh, yeah. friends with Dean Michael, who was in Black Lace. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Oh good. You might have a go at me singing that. I do. Apologize. Oh no, we won't. Oh, we'll come and join in. On, don't worry about that yeah can't be bad no but if you want a true piece of british cricket heritage that is phenomenal if you i could see that at something like a lord's taverners event or something that actually is very closely related to the to the game itself would have a long passion and everything linked to the game of cricket that would just send heads buzzing Put that in the right environment and th th they would go crazy for that. Yeah. It's 300, 729. Do have a think about that. It's a beautiful pho well, photograph of the man himself, W.G. Gray. The original envelope is there with the date and everything. And inside is his personal signature. It's a yeah. piece of British cricket history. It's £1,250, but and you'll we can probably split never see it, it again. Yeah. We can yeah. split the payment down for you as well, which, whatever suits you. Yeah, give them a call or go to info at benham.tv, send them an email if you want, that might be your best way and they'll explain to you all the details on how you can get that or pay for it over several months and don't need to miss out. Moving on to something different again, this of course is, is a plug if you like, mentioning some of the many football shows we do. This is a great, great time. It's 300, 730, very, very affordable as you can see. We try to give you a good mix of prices. Yeah. Just briefly, this is six official genuine postage stamps. It was licensed and endorsed by Manchester United. It takes you back to the year of 1999 when they won the treble. Yeah. So they were at their peak. Absolutely superb. But each one of those six images is a genuine postage stamp. And then you've got the, uh, you know, as it says, 1999 champions. Basically, we call it the Manchester United treble. And it get all those great stamps with it. it it's it's an incredible price, 14.95. Where it's would you so, go to yeah. get that? I'm just going to put it down for one second. Because also with it, you get this great book that tells you about the road to the treble. It's, so a it's bit got of history all, full with of all the well. information yeah. behind it. It is a great little addition that you'll get if you put that into your collection absolutely superb yeah i'll just flip yeah. through it i won't I've got a lot of time but as you can see it's got all the information you need in there about the road to them winning that great treble back in 1999 absolutely stunning it really really is just look at that to get that and all those great stamps there, it all comes in a stamp sheet it form that you see. It's 300 730. It's the Manchester United treble celebration stamp sheet lit, 1495, and comes with a book. Listen, yeah. we're running out of time talking too much, aren't we? I know. <laughs> You're not letting that. me get a word in edge, Oh, I'm sorry, babe. We're I'm talking. Old. Next but, time uh, I'm going to be doing Keep same. an eye out. Keep an eye out for this lady. You'll see her in lots of places, lots of sports events. She's highly popular. We'll see if we can touch.
much get a bit more information about where you're going to see her next but we're hoping we'll yep. see her again i'm sure you will we will definitely here on bedham tv listen great to have you come no it's an absolute and pleasure good luck with all your career Thank and your you. presenting because i'm sure they're going to be you. queuing up down the street to get you on and all these live events if you see jade at a live event try and say hello say yeah i saw you don't be bedham shy TV. don't be shy Just come Go over on. and no, say she's hello. a nice northern lass like myself you know northern lad oh no yeah you know us so, northerners talk to everyone <laughs> yeah yeah but very friendly yeah they certainly are and uh, i'm sure as i say you know you're doing so much in demand and you've done and i like congratulate you as well because i admire the way you've stood up for something you believe in and a lot of women would, yeah. would admire you as well everybody yeah. has their own views and things but you've you've experienced some well, controversy yeah. through well, since going second. on the jeremy vine show the piers morgan good morning britain i've had literally i got over ten thousand messages within a few days and i just want to say thank you to you all for your support and you love it it does really mean a lot so hopefully with all the support it might get brought back as well guys who knows so, yeah but keep watching, keep looking here on Benham.tv. Go to that website, www.benham.tv. Follow us, remember, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter or Twitter. Yeah. Love to have you come. It's great to have you come. No, very welcome. Good luck with your career, Thank babe. You. Look forward to seeing Thank another you. show. Keep an eye out. Jay, see you soon. You'll see us soon. She's a star, I tell you, absolute star. Do remember, if you've missed anything, go to that website, www benham.tv you can see everything in this show all the other great shows we've ever done and if you can see a rerun of this show tell your friends tell your family to come and watch jane and gaza the all sports click tools bye <laughs>